a pleasant afternoon one and all this is your apostle Elijah Peter Chambers it is imperative that I do this video you know just to enlighten the nations to enlighten the people of Jamaica of what to come I recognize that God has designated me as the gatekeeper for Jamaica over some decades now because since 1999 after I came after the 40 days fasting that the Lord led me on the Lord has been revealing the secrets of heart pertaining to the land the island of Jamaica and I can remember in 1999 while I was on the 40 days fasting the Lord showed me the root cause of the crime and violence when you look at the coat of arm you need to do your personal research on the coat of arm there's a Arawak a male and a female and there's an alligator a huge alligator below the feet of both I don't know in 1962 what was the agreement with the dark world they said that they gave Jamaica independence and we recognize that Jamaica has been going backward since 1962 through to 2023 which means that Jamaica has not gone forward and though Jamaica is structured by a religious foundation we are seeing that something has gone wrong in that vision I think it was in 2003 2005 the Lord brought me in a vision and showed me a huge alligator about the length of about 12 to 25 feet long huge though physical it was spiritual and the alligator would go through from parishes to parishes to eliminate and to kill people when I woke up out of the vision I'd known before I woke up out of the vision I began to rebuke the alligator and the alligator escaped into another parish so whatever sacrifice blood sacrifice that our leaders have done to the land of Jamaica because those who are true intercessors they look for the root cause because it's if you want to know good doctors good doctors just not uh, bring in a patient and just prescribe a medicine for them the excellent doctors they will do their research their investigation and try to find out what is the root cause of the sickness before they prescribe a medicine so it is in the spiritual realm us as Jamaicans us as religious leaders we've got to go back to history and find out what went wrong causing the constant cycle of murder incest Battering, homosexuality, lesbianism, witchcraft, obia. Well, we understand that Jamaica is coming from the African descent. And everyone knows that the Africans, they're high in witchcraft, obia, voodoo. They have one of the highest level of witchcraft, which is voodoo. And they practice it, both religious leaders and unreligious leaders. So Jamaica over the years have been struggling with a spiritual issue and it, it starts from our leaders most of our leaders were the clergy from the clergy or the religious perspective or the political pers perspective they are connected to the dark world they are connected to the underworld 
Some of them, they have laid with marine spirits. Some of them, they have initiated themselves into dealerants, the Freemasonry. As a matter of fact, many of the representatives in the cabinet just now, both JLP and PNP, they have initiated themselves in the Freemasonry. They are called the Satanists, the largest, the dealerants, the black masters. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So, if the head is sick, the body will automatically become sick. Let us reason from the, the religious perspective. The Lord showed me in my spirit that about 85 to 95 percent of the churches in Jamaica are a part, they embrace, they support the present government. And that is one of the root causes. If the church becomes sick and contaminated, with the evil of the leaders, it is going to infiltrate, it's going to affect the spirituality, the spiritual foundation of Jamaica. When you have these leaders drinking out of skull head, blood out of human blood, virgin blood, out of skull head, to gain power, to put themselves back into a political seat, a political constituency because the last election that was 2020 2020 September 3rd the Lord showed me brought me into a vision and showed me many of these political leaders and also religious leaders who have gone to shrines they have gone to territory the dark world the underworld some have slept with laden women, some have slept with marine spirits because they want power. And the devil now he understands that the man that, that craves power, they will do anything to rise above anyone. And if it's come to the point that they had to sell their soul, listen, Jamaica has become a region, a territory where leaders, businessmen, politicians, religious leaders, bishops, pastors who have initiated themselves into the organization of evil because of the greed to possess power. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So, the devil recognized that the people of Jamaica, they have deemed the Prime Minister as their bro God. Remember G-O-D, capital. Come on, G-O-D. Can be capital. Come on, which is which means it is a grown God. He came out and he said, it is just a name that's a lie. In the demonic realm. That is why the people in the dark world are pursuing you. And listen, I know you will be watching this video. Leader of Jamaica. The Lord showed me, you sold your soul to the devil. I saw the news and I saw on TikTok and I saw on other social media space where a white man came out. I think they had to do with the, 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 um, the atmosphere, global warming, and they were praising you, saying that you're a champion. And the Holy Spirit said to me that you are a champion to embrace and to, il to embrace and to, 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 to bring out evil. You're a champion. And listen, these people that you have connected yourself with, the Prime Minister of Jamaica, they're going to use you. And when they finish with you, they're going to refuse you. Glory be to God. This is the revelation that the Lord brought to me. I was in prayer. And the Lord said to me, Peter, tell the nation of Jamaica and the global world because most of the other countries, the, 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 the huge, the gigantic countries, they have already gone into the chip system. I want to declare to the people of Jamaica the next agenda, Andrew Hollis's agenda, is for the chip to be placed into your hand. 
Just say the Lord, hear the word of the Lord. He came out last week speaking of the digital currency and the needs. And you always recognize, I want you to listen to me carefully. He recognized that the people of Jamaica are against the mark of the beast. So he's implementing other systems because that is why the Seventh-day Adventists, they got caught up into it. And I want to say, Bishop Delford Davis, why didn't you see what was ahead of you? You got connected with the Prime Minister. All the leaders from the Evangelical Church, the, 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 um, the Evangelical Church, organization and all the religious organization that represents the church the Lord told me that you were blind and that is the power his spirit is anointed has left you because some of you said that it is not the mark of the beast it is the system of the mark of the beast the Bible says here the scripture says here that they are the world no let me back up a little where is it and every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come into the flesh is not of God. 